Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. Hervé Pontrel, the head of Gas Gas Tech 3 KTM, has shared his thoughts on the potential challenges Ducati may face with their star rider lineup next season. With Marc Marquez and Peko Bagnaia set to ride for Ducati, Pontrel offers a cautionary perspective on managing two top-tier talents. Peko Bagnaia secured a crucial victory in the Austrian MotoGP at Spielberg, a race that saw him not only extend his championship lead but also respond to questions raised by former MotoGP rider Carlos Checa. Bagnaia's win demonstrated his strategic brilliance and determination to stay ahead in the title race. Ducati's Davide Tardazzi has confidently predicted that Marc Marquez will secure a MotoGP race win before the end of the 2024 season. Despite Marquez's ongoing wait for a victory, Tardazzi remains optimistic about the eight-time world champion's potential to clinch a win with his current team, Grezzini Ducati. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Ducati's decision to pair Peko Bagnaia with Marc Marquez for the upcoming MotoGP season has created excitement but also concern. Hervé Pontrel, in an interview with Motosprint, highlighted the potential pitfalls of having two fiercely competitive riders in the same team. While this duo could dominate the championship, Pontrel warns that the intense rivalry could lead to internal conflicts. When you have two animals like that, it's difficult to manage them. It's a dream team that can become a nightmare as they can destroy each other. I don't know what advice to give Dalingna, also because on motorbikes, once the lights go out, everything is in the hands of the rider, not like in Formula 1. Quote from Hervé Pontrel. Pontrel believes that Marc Marquez will face more pressure than his teammate. While Banyaya is already established within Ducati, Marquez will be eager to prove that he can still be a championship contender, which could lead to heightened tensions. Pecco is calm when he needs to be, he knows Ducati well and knows how to work with his men, and he doesn't have much to prove. The one who has more to prove is Mark, because he wants to show that he can win again. I think the pressure will be greater for Mark, who sometimes tends to be hotter than Pecco. Looking at his own team, Pontrel is optimistic about the upcoming season with Maverick Vinales and Inia Bastianini as their riders. He recalls past pairings like Andrea Divizioso and Cal Crutchlow, but believes that next season could bring even greater success for Gas Gas KTM. I am happy to have two top riders like Bastianini and Vinales. To be honest, one pairing from my past that I am fond of is Andrea Divizioso and Cal Crutchlow, although we were fighting for positions around third place with them, whereas next year we may be playing for something more. Pontrol also discussed the strategy for managing Vinales and Bastianini, emphasizing that while both riders will share data, they will have independent teams to foster individual development and minimize potential conflicts. Obviously they will exchange data, but they will have a clear personal working group. Surely they will be fighting, but we don't want to establish a strategy today, the track will decide all that. However, I am not worried about the management as we will have exactly the same material as the factory team. Pacquero concluded. Hervé Pontrel's insights highlight both the excitement and the risks of Ducati's new rider lineup. As the MotoGP season approaches, all eyes will be on how Ducati manages these two formidable talents, while Gas Gas KTM prepares for a season of fierce competition with its own star riders. Peko Banyaya returned to winning ways at the Red Bull Ring, overcoming challenges from his rivals and KTM's home advantage. The reigning world champion reflected on his performance, emphasizing how vital it was for him and his team to execute their strategy flawlessly. It was fantastic. I don't have to say anything else. My team worked perfectly all weekend. We got another win, which I really liked because it wasn't easy. Jorge Martin was going very fast. I just wanted to try to do a little bit better each lap, faster. Quote from Peko Banyaya. Carlos Checa, in a post-race interview on DAZN, questioned Banyaya about his approach to the race, particularly regarding his strategy to lead from the front. 
Banaya acknowledged the importance of maintaining his lead to avoid issues with tire pressure, a significant challenge at the Spielberg circuit due to the high temperatures. Yes, that was the strategy. In Spielberg, we always have problems with the front tire pressure and temperature. It was very important to be in front. I knew I had the race pace to win and I tried everything to be in front. With the Aragon Grand Prix on the horizon, Banaya remains focused on maintaining his momentum. While he has had success at Aragon in the past, he acknowledges the strength of his competitors, including Jorge Martin, Marc Marquez, and Inia Bastianini, all of whom have shown strong form at the circuit. We always have to finish races and do our best. We have to have this mentality. We will see at Aragon, which is a circuit where I have won the last two times and finished second. But for Martin, it is one of his favorite and home circuits. Mark is very fast there. Inia is very fast there. It will be a fight between us. Banyaya concluded. Peko Banyaya's victory in Austria reinforces his position at the top of the MotoGP standings. But with the season's challenges far from over, he remains vigilant. As he prepares for the upcoming race in Aragon, Banyaya is ready for another fierce battle, determined to defend his title against a field of talented rivals. Stay tuned as we continue to follow the thrilling action in the MotoGP Championship. Davide Tardazzi, Ducati's team principal, has expressed unwavering confidence in Marc Marquez's ability to secure a race victory before the 2024 MotoGP season concludes. Marquez, who switched to Ducati machinery this year, currently sits fourth in the standings, trailing the leader by 83 points. Despite his impressive performance, which includes nine podium finishes, Marquez has yet to capture a win since his switch to Ducati. Tardazzi Speaking to us.com after Francesco Bagnaia's recent triumph at the Austrian Grand Prix, emphasized that while Ducati's primary focus remains on their current riders, Marquez's potential cannot be overlooked. He firmly believes that Marquez will achieve a race win before the season ends, citing the rider's talent and determination. We are now focusing on our championship. Mark will be with us next year, but at the moment our factory riders are Pecco and Inia Bastianini so we expect them to do the best possible results. Having said that, we are not blindfolded and we understand that Mark has great potential. And we will enjoy him next year, but before the end of the season he will win a race. Quote from Davide Tardazzi. Despite Marquez's impressive performances this season, his search for a win continues. His latest challenge came at the Red Bull Ring, where an unfortunate series of events hampered his race. Marquez inadvertently disengaged his front ride height device while warming up his front tire, which had already been compromised by a broken wheel valve and a subsequent rim change shortly before the race. These issues contributed to Marquez's poor start, causing him to drop from third on the grid to 13th after making contact with Franco Morbidelli. Nevertheless, Marquez demonstrated his resilience by recovering to finish in fourth place. Tardazzi highlighted Marquez's speed in the latter part of the race, suggesting that a better start could have seen him challenge for the podium and possibly the win. I had warned that Marquez on Sunday would fight for the victory and, if we look at the second part of the race, he was the fastest on track. With a good start, he could have played for the podium and maybe even the victory. Tardazzi concluded. As the season progresses, Marquez remains focused on overcoming the challenges he has faced and securing that elusive victory. With his recent performance showing strong potential, the confidence from Tardazzi could serve as a significant boost for Marquez. The Grezzini Ducati rider's ability to navigate his current difficulties and capitalize on future opportunities will be key to achieving his first win of the season. Marquez's determination and skill, coupled with Tardazzi's unwavering belief in his potential, set the stage for what promises to be an exciting conclusion to the 2024 MotoGP season. Fans and observers will be closely watching as Marquez strives to turn his performances into race wins. Davide Tardazzi's bold prediction for Marc Marquez brings a renewed sense of anticipation as the 2024 MotoGP season heads towards its finale. With Marquez's potential and Tardazzi's confidence, 
there is hope that the eight-time world champion will secure a race victory before the season ends. Stay tuned for more updates and see if Marquez can live up to the high expectations set for him.